Hello, everybody. This is David Montesano, founder of College Match. Today, I'm speaking with my young friend, Kyron Adams. Kyron and I worked together on his college admission process, I'm very happily ensconced at Rice University. How's it going, Kyron? It's going pretty well. Good. Where, where are you today? Uh, so I'm in Houston, basically right next to Rice. Yeah, I've been working remotely at Coinbase for a summer internship. Um, and yeah, I'm going to go into my senior year at, at, uh, at Rice next fall, hopefully. Wow, that's really exciting. And um, so you've, you've been, since, since we last talked, which has been a, a couple years, ha have you been doing a lot of interning? Has that been a big part of your life? For me personally, a lot of uh, what I've been doing outside of school has been like research oriented. So a lot of it has been like very uh, individual. Um, and for me, that was the best way to just like follow what I was interested in. Because um, for a while, I actually wasn't interested in going into industry at all. Um, and this is like my first time doing an industry internship. And I, I don't know, I actually do think it's really cool. And um, I'm kind of sold on on the whole the whole package deal that you get. Uh, but yeah, this is this is my first internship. That's like not not a research one. And, and your major is computer science, right? Yeah, computer science. And what, what do you end up doing on your internship, if I can ask? Uh, so this one is a software engineering internship on the machine learning team. So at Coinbase, we have a very small machine learning team, even though it's like over a thousand person company now and it's growing really fast. The machine learning team is, it's about 10 people and um, I'm the only intern on the team. So I'm doing a lot of different patchwork engineering of just getting the platform up and running um, just because it's a very young company. It's like three years old. So. It's a lot of a lot of groundwork to be laid. That's exciting! Wow, and and you're currently a senior at Rice, so this is happening before you even graduate from college. Which is, yeah, exactly. Super cool. Um, how do you with COVID and everything? Also, I wanted to ask you since a lot of our listeners are you know have have kids that are maybe going off to college or getting ready to go to college. How do you see the future as a current college student, both at Rice attending, right, currently, and also, just, you know, yeah, how do you see it in general? Well, I think when it comes to college, I think it depends very much on, like, the college administration and how they want to handle it. Uh, for Rice in specific, they said that they are going to really try to open the semester, um, like, have, have the semester basically be normal, except it'll have a remote option. Um, so that'll kind of like satisfy both types of people, both who want a in-person experience and want a re remote experience. They're incentivized to want to reopen campuses because that's where they get all their money from. So I think next semester, hopefully it'll be a little bit back to normal. But I think uh, colleges that are not as well endowed as, as Rice um, might not have the resources for like testing and things like that. In that case, I don't, I don't really know what would happen. Um, but yeah, in general, I, I don't know. <laughs> I don't think anyone knows. Has has um, has COVID impacted you directly in terms of you know maybe taking classes with professors and things like that? Yeah. So the we actually got out about two months early last semester um, and basically had the rest of the semester online, and that was actually a very interesting experience. I mean, I was doing um, so I was doing a senior design class um, at, for the computer science department um, as a junior and I was basically a project manager for a class of like 30 seniors and grad students um, and we were working on this industry project with like this oil and gas company Slumberger um, <clears throat> and it was hard enough like in person meeting several times a week like to try to figure out that project and like like uh, delegate responsibilities and like make sure everything's getting done but then once you like go digital and like you're I don't know only communicating over slack and zoom it becomes so much harder um so like yeah that, that was that was very difficult I think a lot of the other classes classes um in general just became a lot easier so um 
because everyone is very like sympathetic to everyone going through the crisis together so i think for, for me it wasn't that bad yeah that sounds great and and quick i'm sure our listeners would want to know how do you stay motivated during all this because it, it's you know it can be deep i'm assuming somewhat demotivating when things get canceled and it sounds like things you've found workarounds but how have you personally managed to stay motivated during this time the one thing that makes me definitely not motivated is if i don't work out and it's really easy not to work out when you can just like lay in bed all day and not really face any consequences um so as long as i face force myself to work out um there's lots of things that i'm like somewhat interested in doing and i have lots of time so like i just have to find find the energy to do the things that i'm interested in as opposed to like just trying to do things that i'm forced to since you've gone to rice what is there anything that rice has specifically helped you with in your life that's a really difficult question to answer because i feel like i've become a totally different person in like the three years and it's kind of hard to just to say like rice did this to me versus like i found like like this is who i am rice in specific it's a very like supportive culture i, I don't know if it's really like southern hospitality but everyone's like very everyone wants the best for everybody else and um you kind of ingrain that in yourself and i feel like most people coming out of rice are just generally nice people and and also very like chill people very down to earth and very humble um and i think that's one thing that i've learned out of college is even though like first of all i'm not the smartest in any department like there's so many people that are smarter than me in every in every single area like there's people that are better than me at ping pong and there's people that are better than me at piano like like everywhere you look there's someone like every person is better than you at something and that's very humbling but at the same time you realize that we're all like very smart and we're all here together it's definitely something you you have to get over in your your freshman year is that you're not like hot shit anymore <laughs> do you that's awesome do you, do you have any advice for for students that are starting the process and thinking of applying to places like rice you know something that you wish you knew but didn't know when you were applying kind of thing or in high school yeah, applications are hard, um, but like it's only for one year, and then once you're in college, like it's a lot of fun. So <laughs> I don't know. I don't, I don't really have any advice. It, it was hard for me, and like I went through it. But like once you get in, it's a, it's a great feeling. That's super helpful. <laughs> what, what about your and, and just looking at kind of post rice? What are what are your plans? I'm just curious. Yeah. Um, so I was like very undecided for a while. Um, I was thinking I wanted to go to like grad school for maybe academia or something like that. But now, um, I mean, I'm really enjoying my internship at Coinbase and I really like the people there. Um, and I mean, just looking at the, the historical statistics, there's like a good chance that I'll get a return offer. Um, so I think if I get a return offer, there's, I'll probably go with that, um, at least for a couple of years. Um, and then if not, I'll probably just apply to grad schools. What, what kind of grad school do you think it would be? Would it be engineering? Or? Yeah, um, I, I mean, I'm still very undecided about this. I was thinking either computer science or just statistics. Um, statistics might be a little bit more uh, like different for me and give me a different learning experience, whereas computer science might be kind of like the same, same stuff that I've been learning. Um, but it would also be a lot easier for me personally. So I don't know. That, that's very helpful. I, this has been extraordinarily nice to chat with you because I feel like, you know, we, a lot of students that are considering going to college, it's a little bit daunting. And then they love to look at Rice. Rice is such a great school, but maybe they don't know somebody going there. So this, you've given us a glimpse into what it's like there and, mm -hmm. and what your personal journey has been like. And, and I, you know, I think that's super valuable and helpful the people, um, both students and parents alike. Um, is there any last thing that you'd want to say, Kyron, before we, we wrap up? Um, I guess and good luck to anyone who's applying because um, it's, it was definitely a hard time for me, but once you come out the other end, it's, it's a lot. Um, I don't know. I've, I've been having a great time in college. I think a lot of people do. So. Awesome. I just want to thank you so much. It's, it's wonderful to connect again. And um, 
I, you know, let's let's stay in touch. I, I really yeah. enjoyed the conversation. Yeah, and have fun in Houston, obviously, with your new new um, internship here. That's exciting. Thanks. Yeah. Oh, I have to go work all day now. <laughs> <laughs> all right, Karen. Thank you for taking the time. We really appreciate it. Yeah, for sure. All right, I'll talk to you later, dude. Yeah, thank you.